out here petting puppies in the rain. What's up? Good, we need rain. Let's see what these swales look like. Kind of raining right now. It has been uh, thunderstorming, pouring. I would say torrential. Now there's water in here, but it's not full. I don't know that it's supposed to be full. Like we have the greenhouse kind of blocks the rain. Although all this rain off of the greenhouse, I would think would make its way this way. This is downhill you can see it's pooling so it's kind of coming that way same here it just doesn't curve for the swale it's kind of going between them however this one has a lot more water in it you can see all that green coming up there we'll go look at the one up top okay the one up top little different story a lot of water in the one up top here almost enough to go out that floodgate there spillway spillway not floodgate And we're pretty close here into uh, going into the pond. The pond has quite a bit more water in it, but it doesn't look like this has gotten high enough to fill it. So it's growing very, very well. Walk around the other side here. Let's go look at the mini micro swells. So you can see here, all this water just comes down. You can see how it's kind of cascaded down. It's making those little ripples. These ones are super filled, and I don't know why these ones fill so much faster. Maybe water's coming down at a different angle and catching these two. A lot of water there. This one's almost completely filled and running over almost. Same here, close. Good amount of water there. A lot of water there. Even the tree's not doing well. Look like, well, maybe not this one, but some of the others have a bunch of dead on them, but they got new growth on them too. Brand new shirt, got no stains. Out here petting puppies in the rain. What's up? What's up? Hellos, hellos. Hello, you know what would be super cool? If you were 10 times as big as you are. I think that would be pretty cool. Can we, can we work on that? Who? Check out that little white patch on your nose. Can you be 10 times bigger? How about you? How about both of you 10 times bigger? That would be cool. And here comes the gray one. I don't know if this is the gray one that's been here a long time or if this is a new gray one. I've never seen this gray cat with this collar. There's a gray cat, but not with this like collar with the balls on it like this one had. And this one's hissing. It wants to come, I think, and be petted, but it's hissing at these two. And then an orange cat. Come here, kitty kitty. An orange cat showed up here the other day. It's got reflectors on it. It's obviously someone's pet. Hi, how are you? Hey, chill, chill, chill. An orange cat showed up here the other day. There's an orange cat here. This cat has a short tail. We have this orange cat that's super unfriendly, doesn't let you pet it or anything, and another one showed up that looks identical, and it's super friendly. So, I don't know what, what, where all these, come here, hey, hey, you're gonna have to get over that piss and shit if you're gonna live here. These cats are gonna kick the shit out of you. That dog right there will eat you if she gets a hold of you. Kitty kitties! See, she knows that that is not one of the cats from here. And this one's hissing, but the other ones are not. This cat's tripping right here. Weird, too. He's got like half a weak tail. Hi. He's pretty nice. Are you a boy? Are you a boy? Mmm, you're a girl, aren't you? Yeah, you're a girl. You kind of look pregnant, fatty. You have these little paws, too. You're not a very good uh, genetic example of a cat. But you are friendly, so that's a plus. Okay, so the orange cat I was telling you about, we'll know which one this is here in a second. If this one scatters, oh no, this is the nice one. There's the one that, there's the scatter cat, and there's the one that showed up that's nice. Come here. Hi. And my cats hiss at this cat, which is a trip. Come here. Thank you. Hi, your face looks a little tore up. Have you been getting beat up? And this here, that's a boy. Oh, you're gonna hiss at me now, huh? Come here, you'll be okay. And then this one here, the scaredy cat. I really think that it's my employees that bring the cats they don't want here because they know we'll feed them. Mm, I've been locked out. Look how cool this little turkey is. There's four of them and some of these birds here. I just let them out of this pen here so they're flying around. This guy here keeps running up on me like he's gonna spur me. He's getting bolder and bolder. It's time to uh, have a come to Jesus meeting with him. That means smacking him with a two by four is what that means. Look how big some of these brahmas are. That one's really big. 
I've got uh, two roosters, two Brahma roosters, two Brahma barred rocks. The Brahmas and the barred rocks um, and the Cornish cross are from a poultry company. I can't remember the name right off the top of my head. Turkeys and these brown birds and these black ones, those came from tractor supply. That's a big rooster right there. So what you see here, this is this chicken coop was here and then here and then here so that's probably one day two days three days four days five days six days seven days so one week and you can see today they ate it down raw but up there it's already growing back and you can see here this coop these Cornish crosses were over here and then drug back basically so today it's just scorched earth full of shit it's wet nasty and right here you can see rabbit one two three four five six so even though this stuff here it'll die out by tomorrow next day but here it is it was all those rabbits and those rabbits were over here just two and three weeks ago you can see even where they were here to here and you can see how a different type of grass has grown now instead of this big crazy stuff all this little stuff is able to grow underneath it now that it has more light and it's coming up just super thick super super thick there was rabbits everywhere here where this lush grass is there was rabbits here within two three weeks and then that big chicken coop the that one there was up here i came uh as a matter of fact, that coop was here for the swales class. So the swale class, that coop was here, and then it was here, and then it was here, and then I took it over there. This is like just uh, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then all this week, just moved it down, just drug it back up. So you can see it, it really changes the grass hugely. And that's part of that's that they're eating seeds and pooping them out, and then they're fertilizing, and they're scratching up that ground and really working uh, that manure into the ground, as well as the, the high protein feed that, you know, they're, that they're pooping out. Man, I'm talking about Willis, one of the realest.